Hi there, Ben here and welcome to this video. Thanks so much for making it because we're unboxing here something so very special. You know what? I won't show you, it'll be a surprise. Let's just open it, although you did see that intro bit. Okay, so I've picked up the mail from the, my giant letterbox and this is what's up. Wow, okay, so this is what we've got. Oh, I'm really excited. Ah, it's not quite the grand reveal. Let, wait a second, because the, of course it's protected also. It has to make it from Germany. Ta-da! Hey, how about that? It's the Risa electric ukulele. Inspired by the Telecaster, Telecaster model, the famous, uh, one of the first electric Fender guitars, which was actually called a Broadcaster when it was released and it looked just like this. Are really cool. Now, as you can see, the detail is all there and it's just not just to be pretty. This is an actual electric instrument with the proper pickups and everything. I can show you, I'm just taking off the plastic here. Uh, there was a couple of uh, plastic coverings here on the on the pickups that I've taken away and also there's a plastic one here on the pick guard which is what guitarists call the thing that protects their pretty guitar from their wild bluesy rockin' pick strums. The uh, tuning pegs are up here. And it's right now tuned with a low G here at the bottom. This is so nice. I can't wait to get this plugged in because yes, that's the thing. If you order an electric ukulele, it's not just a ukulele that looks like an electric guitar. You see there's no resonance, no sound hole for the sound to go in. The sound will actually be picked up handily by these pickups. That's what they do. They pick up the sound and then it will be sent through here, through a cable, and that will be sent into an amplifier. And that's how we get rocking. So let's do that. So cool. Ba -na -na -na. Okay, so I've just plugged it in with a cable into here, as you can see. And we have two knobs here that decide the volume and the tone, the color of your sound that you will have. And it'll not be here to choose which microphone, uh, which pickup we're going to use. Now I'm going to push it up. So I start with this one and that's how I'm going to inaugurate this ukulele here. Let's, let's give it a listen. Quite, quite a lot of distortion there. We don't need that much to start off with. So my microphone is here, so it's picking up the amp that's over there next to the camera, but hopefully you can hear the ukulele well enough without getting a lot of the room. I can hear it very well. Uh, let's give it a little tune-up with my tuner that's over there. Everything's elsewhere. I mean, I'm here, which is nice, and you're here which is also really nice. I didn't mention this, Risa is a German company and these ukuleles are inspired of course by the American Fender Broadcaster Telecaster, but they are made in Europe. So that's pretty cool to have an instrument made in Europe, also inspired by, by something that's really, that's really influenced so much pop culture and the bands throughout the times. The, Keith Richards had one of these, this exact model in color and everything. And they started making these in the 50s, actually, in 1951, I think, or 1950. And uh, they had to change the name for rights reasons. One of the inventors said, hey, you know what's cool? These television things, let's call it a telecaster. So let me telecast to you uh, a few of the sounds of this instrument. Um, so I'm using this pickup here just now. And I'm going to play with a clean sound. And I'm all tuned up. Now to give you a little idea of how the tone can change, that's very bright. And uh, let me... And that's not bright at all, because I've changed the tone knob. basically the idea. Now, and let's try just this one, the double here, a bit more tone. Uh, volume is on max, by the way. I've got a reverb pedal here, which I've just activated, and it's on the, um, 
the uh, hall mode, so it'll be like I'm playing in a hall. And now uh, with the uh, pickup over here. And now middle, both of the pickups. And now just the pickup over here. I'll make some other videos where I explain how best to get what sound and what equipment to use. But I just want to talk about the ukulele um, as I've just discovered it. And let's, um, let's push the button that makes the fun happen in a lot of songs. And that's the distortion button on the amp. Okay, click. Are you ready? All right, well, I'm on distortion with the uh, top pickup. Let's use both of them and see what happens. So cool! That is so, did you hear that? That is so nice. I hope you can get what I'm getting, even though the amp's over there, I'm over here, and you're all the way in, I don't know, really far away. You can tell me in the comments where you're, and if you can hear the sound from there, I mean, that's impressive. That loud. I think that's my favorite is the middle. Let's try just this pickup over here. Um, yeah, now that's the pickup sound that you need for this bit. <laughs> kind of. Cool, maybe I can try it with a bit less distortion. And then I can have a more Muddy Waters bluesy mellow sound. Muddy Waters, by the way, a, a great blues guitarist who had this exact model of ukulele, no, not of ukulele, of guitar, but that looks exactly like this. Really cool blues man. And that's handy because... Because I'm going to be teaching lots of blues this month. The next 10 styles. So that's going to come in handy. Oh, that's really funny. Actually, just checking out the different sounds middle, top, bottom, middle. Combining them means that you've actually got a more mellow tone. Okay, let's, let's play a blues. Three, The sound is so cool. Too. Oh, I'm loving the high notes. Maybe, oh, I was in the, the double position. I must have touched it. Oh, let's do this. That was in high. Let's do this in the two other positions. Middle. And the double one. Well, hopefully you enjoyed the presentation of this Rissa ukulele uh, custard, uh, what's it called? Yellow custard, something custard. I had to double check the name of the color. It's Butterscotch Blonde. And uh, it's very appetizing musically for sure. Let me show you, we can do lots of styles on this. And uh, let me finish off by some proper riffs. Okay, the amp is off now. A couple of things. Of course, you can play this with a strap, uh, which I haven't installed yet, and then sort of stand up and 
play all those riffs on stage in front of, uh, whoops, millions. Um, and you can also uh, play with a pick, of course, because the uh, strings, if you're not used to, can be quite uh, a bit more, a bit rougher on your fingers than uh, the nylon ones from the ukulele. So you can also do that. But I like playing with my fingers because I feel like it has a more um, natural sound than if I've got a little plastic pick. I'd use both actually, sometimes hand, sometimes pick. And another little thing, and another little thing. I didn't go through the whole thing basically, but this is the proper old design of the broadcaster back in the day. Um, the strings just go through the body and out on this side basically. The strings are stringed here, go down, through the actual body, vam, and come out the other side. Ain't that cool? So you'll be seeing a lot more of my face, hopefully, if you like the channel, feel free to subscribe, <laughs> obviously. And hopefully you'll be hearing lots more mellow tones of the Butterscotch TE from Risa. See you soon for more. Bye bye.